I love fresh spinach, so that's why even though much of the spinach I plant bolts or goes to seed, I always try again next year. One of the true pleasures of spinach is how quickly it grows. It is one of the first things I plant and one of the first things I eat every year. I plant it first thing in the spring as soon as the ground is workable. Hi, I'm Heidi Rader here in the Alaska Garden. I'm an Associate Professor of Extension with the University of Alaska Fairbanks and I'm going to talk all about growing vegetables, flowers, and berries productively and sustainably in Alaska. In my experience, bolting is the challenge with growing spinach in interior Alaska. Warm temperatures and long day lengths are mostly to blame, but big temperature swings also play a role in bolting. Spinach is usually direct seeded, it's possible that transplanting spinach could help mitigate bolting, but trials are needed to assess this. Direct seeded spinach should be thinned four to six inches apart or whatever spacing is specified on the seed packet. In my garden, I often do not get around to thinning, which may increase bolting rates too. Consistent watering also may help prevent bolting. Slower growing varieties are also slower to bolt. Researchers have found that at 20 hours of daylight, there's almost no difference between spinach varieties and how much they bolt. For most of the Fairbanks summer, the day lengths are too long. Planting a little earlier or a little later in the summer might help. Warmer temperatures in midsummer could make the spinach more susceptible to bolting, but temperature swings early in the spring also has the same effect. Although spinach is tough in that it is cold hardy, it's also a bit of a Goldilocks vegetable where it likes the weather to be not too hot and not too cold and the day lengths not too long. If you want to grow spinach, you'll want to choose the slow bolting varieties including Corvair, Escalade, Lizard, Seaside, and Red Tabby. Ada Snyder, a commercial grower sales representative for high mowing seeds, trialed spinach and found that Escalade held or did not bolt about two weeks longer than other varieties. She thought Kiowa, Lakeside, Seaside, Space, and Lizard would be the most conducive to growing conditions in interior Alaska. Glenna Gannon, the director of the vegetable variety trials at the Fairbanks Experiment Farm, has been trialing spinach for two years. So Glenna, which varieties have you found to be slowest to bolt? Yeah, great question, Heidi. Uh, based on the last two years of trial results, I would personally recommend Escalade, Renegade, Space, Palco, and Lizard as some of my top picks for best field holding capacity. In other words, slowest to bolt, right? Um, I think that those ones both taste good and uh, really you can get some nice harvests off of those before they start going to seed. And I know you did two plantings. You did one in the midsummer and one later in the fall. Which varieties would you say held best across both plantings? Ooh, yeah, that's a little bit tougher to uh, answer. I would say that here in Fairbanks, there wasn't a huge difference among um, summer planted versus fall planted varieties. I still would recommend Escalade and Space for those different, for those different planting times. Um, however, without additional research and more seasons to really evaluate, I hesitate to recommend one variety for a certain season over another at this point. Okay. Well, I hope you keep trialing spinach and, and we find out more about the different production methods and, and which varieties might grow best here. Yeah, I plan to. And I will just add that this season we did start a, a trial that included transplants. So normally with spinach we direct seed them. Uh, however, the transplants started to bolt before we even got them into the ground. Oh, wow. So we're going to work on a better method for doing transplanted trials for the variety trial program. All right. Well, thanks so much, Glenna. We look forward to finding out more results. My pleasure. Thanks, Heidi. Terry Reichert, an experienced Fairbanks gardener, prefers kookaburra spinach. It's a semi-savoid spinach, which means it's also a little less tender than more tender varieties of spinach and might be better cooked than eaten raw. New Zealand spinach, which is not actually in the spinach family, is prolific and doesn't tend to bolt. 
When cooked, it's a good spinach substitute, but when eaten fresh, it's a little bit tougher. Best bet, try Escalade or Space for fresh spinach. Palco, Red Tabby, Kiowa, Corvair, Lakeside, Seaside, and Lizard may also be good ones to try. Seaside and Oceanside are delicious, but do not appear to hold as well. Red Tabby and Kiowa, both considered varieties that are slow to bold, have not been trialed here yet. Corvair, Space, Melody, and Taiyi are recommended by extension for interior Alaska, but according to Gannon, Melody and Taiyi seeds are difficult to find and likely the varieties have been improved. Plant early in the spring, make sure your spinach is well watered, spaced appropriately, and try growing it under a row cover or low tunnel. Spinach leaves can be snipped with scissors and allowed to regrow for successive harvests until it bolts, making it inedible. Eat the tender varieties raw and add the tougher varieties to just about anything you're cooking for a flavor and nutrient boost.